orange and the pinstripes. Tommy Farmer, the freshman to lead things off for the orange. Today, he threw two hitless innings of relief. Thursday allowed two walks, no runs. Out of the stretch, young guy trying to establish himself. And come out, first pitch, it's always good to see I got the game that are gonna make you better come spring. Got plenty of tools. Six foot six, and a solo homer Friday. Farmer goes, throw down, tag applied, and they got him. That's what Kibble brings to the table. Comes up right here, good footwork, and in this excellent throw, just in time. Will Gasparino looks the part. Here comes the Hamilton pitch. Hit hard. And over the wall and gone. A Texas round tripper for Gasparino, his second of the week. And the orange on top early. It's great extension there. High fastball gets on top of it. Comes off the bat at 110 miles an hour. This is a rocket. You can see it up in the zone right at the letters. And he didn't miss it. He's been last year at 339, 10 homers, and OPS at 979. And he drills this to right center on the run. And losing it in the sun was Jared Thomas. Powell's going to make his way to second. Second year. You should know what's happening. That'll fall and right. Powell held up at third. Runners on the corners with one out. Sanders the first of two DHs in the lineup, and he blasts this to left center off the wall. Powell is in. Flores being waved around third throw to the plate, not in time. And on the throw, Sanders makes his way to third, an early 3-0 Orange lead. Mistake up in the zone. Sanders puts a charge in this one. Into the gap in left center. Thomas has it. To short. Kate O'Hara on to first. Casey Borba there for the out. But the run is in. More than that, I would think everybody's limited to about 60 the third straight game. Jaden Duplantier, Jack O'Dowd, Porter Brown, and then the DH number one is Max Ballou, followed by Kimball Schusler, freshman Casey Cummings, Casey Borba, Kate O'Hara, and then Ian Check, designated hitter number two, batting 10th. And a change. He's got a really good motion with his change up. The year, 15 multi-hit games. He hit 382 in Big 12 play. Runner going, throw down, got him. Behind the plate, has got a strong arm, comes up throwing. O'Dowd with a really good play on the other end. That, that is just an outstanding pick and tag right there. Your sophomore year. Hit hard, but right to D. Kennedy. Hit 284 last season with six homers. Sky high. Constantine under it. And that'll do it. Here so far in the early going. Girls. Runner going. This is carrying to center, but Thomas underneath. Kennedy goes. Strike three. And Schusler. Thought there was third out. Yep. Series. He's reached base four times. Planty A, nice grab in foul territory. Here's the payoff from Zatapek. Flores at short, bobbles. Brown reaches first. Now that's going to be that's one of the things that you're going to work on. You. The 0-2 to Balu. Drifting to left center, it'll drop. Runners on first and second for the pinstripes. No outs here in the second inning. Went to the fastball. To right center. Gone! Grand slam, Casey Cummings. We're tied in game three of the Fall World Series. Okay. 
They've been dominated for two plus games. And now Cummings with one swing of the bat ties things up. A well, ball was down out over the plate. Boy, he put a charge in it going the other way, challenged him with the fastball. Go back to, to start the inning, just a routine play as a leadoff out instead. It comes off the bat at 104 miles an hour, 405 feet into right center. This is lifted to left. Kennedy at the track makes the catch. And then, you know, he and Phillip do most of the hitting and then continuing to work with the outfielder. So I like where we are. Max Ballou, the single after the strike out of Porter Brown. And there's one on in the first here in the bottom of the fourth. And literally play a weekend series against each other without changing rosters. Um, and then literally playing it like it's for fifth and the weather's perfect. So um, last day, but it's a it's been a great productive fall. I could find the hole and it does for the first time this week the pinstripes have the lead and Casey Cummings has all five runs batted in today his single scores Max Ballou be a good RPI game for both sides Gasparino finds the hole into right field 22 went three and zero at McLennan Community College NAS uh, last season and announced his commitment to Texas August 1st Gasparino slides into second safely go that direction. <laughs> Got him. Fontenot comes back for the strikeout. Lined into the glove of O'Hara. Back to O'Dowd to double off Gasparino. The liner into the glove of O'Hara and Gasparino. No chance to get back to second. 5-4 pinstripes. Cummings has had the big game of the day. Driving all five pinstripes runs in. Liner on a hop could be two to O'Dowd at second on to first in time. Here comes the one one. Ripped into the glove of Jaden Duplantier and that will do it. The pinstripes take the third and final game of the fall world series. Brendan Birch gets the save. The hero for the pinstripes, Casey Cummings, drives in all five runs, a grand slam in the second, and his RBI single in the fourth provides the difference in the 5-4 victory. Well, we got to see a lot of young players, some of the new transfers coming in, and saw that the fact that uh, you were worried about power, well, we saw power today. A couple of homers in the ball game, including a grand slam.